What it is, BHD Army? It's your boy Blast from HD, and today we're here to watch a video uh, called 10 Most Evil School Bullies. School bullies is already sacks of shit, man. They're weak, loser ass motherfuckers who the only reason why they picking on other motherfuckers is because they weak. I've met very, very, very few strong minded bullies. You know, bullies don't want you to know this shit, but bullies really don't want to fucking fight, man. They're just trying to get up in there and, you know, punk somebody, look tough, and get the fuck out of Dodge. You know, bet you five bucks if you fought a bully, even if you lost, he ain't never gonna fight you again because you fought back. He's gotta worry about getting himself injured, and bullies ain't about that shit. But with that being said, if you guys wanna watch the original video, it is, of course, by All Time Tens. The link to the original video is in the description down below. Make sure to go watch it there in its entirety because we chop parts out. So if you want to watch the whole thing, you got to click the link in the description down below. Watch from the original uploader's channel, Lego. In 2005, 12-year-old Shani Naylor stood up to a group of girls who had been bullying a shy, vulnerable boy in her class. One bully didn't react well to Shani's bravery and attacked her during an English lesson. The girl lunged at Shani with the blade from a pencil sharpener, slashing open her face and nearly blinding her. Shani had to undergo serious plastic surgery and it's likely that she will be scarred for life. The 12-year-old attacker was questioned by police but released on bail. No! No! Released on bail? The fuck? What did y'all remember back in the day when they used to put crazy motherfuckers in straight jackets? Really? This bitch slashed this young girl's face the fuck up with a goddamn pencil sharpener or a fucking pencil, whatever it was. But she ruined this little girl's face for the rest of her life. And you mean to tell me this bitch got released? What the fuck? Come on, man. Bruh, we come on, dude. School be failing. You can't, you can't, man. You gotta do better than that, man. Come on. Traffic cone beating. 14-year-old Robert Howard suffers from autism and has the mentality of an 8-year-old. Harsh bullies pounced on his vulnerability and his mother said that he often came home from school crying and bleeding. Teachers were aware of the bullying, but their solution was to isolate Robert from the classroom rather than discipline those involved. Dude, see, man, that's why I really don't fuck with schools or teachers or none of that shit. Because, like, they, you know what I mean? Like, they mean well, but they're stupid as fuck. It's like these school teachers and these schools and principals don't understand. Like, they, they just don't understand. And it makes no sense. I've maybe had maybe one or two principals and maybe one or maybe two or three teachers in my entire life that really understood. Because I used to get bullied a lot when I was a kid. I'm talking every other day. I used to get jumped at least once a week. I used to get fucked the fuck up. But with that being said, like, you know, some of my school, some of my teachers and principals was like, look, look, you're going to get suspended, but fuck them up. You know, that's what you got to do. That's the only way to keep them up off of you. You got to fuck them up. Or like, the only thing that these, like, bullies and all these motherfuckers really understand is, like, power and discipline. Like, you can't suspend or expel these motherfuckers. You know, they're literally physically beating his ass, and they can't do nothing about it. Come on, bruh. In 2016, after a PE lesson, one boy hit Robert in the face with a large orange traffic cone. The young boy fuck, had to be yo. rushed to hospital, where he received stitches. A statement from the school said that they were conducting an investigation into the event. An investigation? Really, motherfuckers? I'm pretty sure the boy who got hit will know who did the shit. Really? See, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm all for vigilante justice, man. That's the only way to keep people to leave you the fuck alone. You gotta fuck them up. That's real. You know, after you beat that ass, they, they will leave you alone. And that's real. One time, one of the students even attempted to rape the boy in the school toilets. Three boys were eventually charged with attempted rape, indecent assault, and other related counts. No what the fuck part of the bullying is that? What? Is this school a prison? Out this bitch? Really? You know what? Yeah, Todd is a real punk ass, and he's been pissing me off with class. You know what we should do? We should probably put gum under his head. No, 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 Bob. 
I got a better idea. I mean, what is wrong with them? What? You, what? People have pissed me off a lot in my lifetime, and rape has never been where I took that. <laughs> Man, god damn it, Salisbury Stinkums again? This lunch lady's really pissing me off. You know what? No, you know what? Rape. <laughs> Number seven, bus monitor bullies. In 2012, footage of bus monitor Karen Klein being heartlessly mocked by schoolchildren went viral. Years before, Klein's son had committed suicide. Knowing this, one child made a particularly cruel comment, saying you don't have a family because they all killed themselves because they didn't want to be near you. When the identities of the children were revealed, many of them received death threats. Klein discouraged this and also opted not to press charges. No, nope. no, nope. nigga, I'm suing for everything. Children bitches is going to prison if I can, damn it. I'm getting everything. I'm a really bitter type of person. I'm not with that whole forgiving people shit. You know, I don't really understand that. People do fuck shit to you, they deserve fuck shit back. Give it their kids and they stupid, but they still deserve to get beat the fuck up. And if their parents ain't gonna do it, then you should sue their little asses for their college funds. Huh? That'll teach you. Fuck your education. <laughs> no, can't do that, no. <laughs> Six. Bullied Bailey. For many months, Bailey O'Neill was the victim of aggressive bullying. During recess one day, two classmates jumped the 11-year-old in an attempt to steal his lunch money. Bailey suffered a concussion, as well as a broken nose. However, his condition rapidly deteriorated. The next day, he began to suffer seizures which were so extreme that the doctors were forced to put him into a medically induced coma. After almost three weeks in a coma, Bailey died. The students who attacked Bailey were suspended for two days, but police have not yet revealed whether they will face criminal charges. I don't understand that shit, man. Damn that. Kids are assholes, yo. Kids can be assholes, man. I've done fuck shit as a kid, nowhere near, anywhere near on this level, but I had a lot of fuck shit happen to me when I was a kid, man. I remember Number that shit. five, sexting suicide. Oh, this is bad. When 18-year-old Jessica Logan broke up with her boyfriend, oh, he shit. humiliated her by sending nude photos of her around school, prompting other girls to harass and shame her. Jessica turned to teachers, whose only advice was that she should approach the girls herself and ask them to delete the pictures. This, of course, didn't work. That's because she didn't have a knife on her. You approach these fucking bitches with a bat and make them delete the pictures. Oh, of course we're not. Fuck you, bitch. Take the bat out, smash one of these little holes his knees cap in. I bet you five bucks all these other little bitches will gladly delete your pics off of their phone. Oh, shit, I got you right here. My bad, I took that. Yep. People only really understand power. You know, I know nobody understands weakness. Nobody sympathizes with weak people. This is fucking sad, though, man. That's fucked up. Like, she 18 years old. How the fuck is you gonna embarrass this chick for showing you her titties? And, th and this is your girlfriend. I don't understand this shit. In of her cause, Jessica shared her story on local television. This only served to encourage her bullies even more. Tragically, two months later, Jessica hanged herself in her bedroom. Number four. Filthy bitches. Dirty bitches. I hope that boyfriend feels like fucking shit. He'll never live that shit down, and gladly so. Stupid son of a bitch. Number two. Plastic rap prank. 17-year-old Sergei Kasper from Russia had suffered through relentless bullying during his time at school. One time, his tormentors you Oh my god, I saw this one. I saw this video. This is probably the most horrific shit. What? Oh man, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let them tell it cuz it's just fucked up, yo. This is fucked. He used plastic wrapping to bind his arms and legs. When a distraught Sergey attempted to hop away, he lost his balance and fell towards the teacher's desk. His neck hit the side of the table crushing his throat irreparably. Tragically, Sergei died later that day in hospital. Shockingly, the class's teacher had been present throughout the entire ordeal, yet they did nothing to stop the horrific bullying. Number one. 
What type of bullshit is that, man? What, what's even worse is uh, if you watched in, like, the original video or whatever, you'll see that after he crushed his fucking neck and was laying there and dying, no one knew and they just laughed. So this kid's last, the last thing he heard was his bullies laughing at him before he died. Ain't that fucked up? On firebomb attack. For months, Natalie Connor had been bullying Lucy Cochran, a 16-year-old who had severe learning difficulties. With the help of her parents, she poured petrol through the letterbox of her victim's home and set it ablaze, killing Lucy's parents, Maureen and Alex. Lucy also suffered horrendous, life-altering burns. Natalie was sentenced to 11 years in prison for double manslaughter, and her parents were jailed for life for murder. What type of crazy shit? That's why I be telling people, man, like, dude, fuck all that telling your teachers. Fuck all that asking them to stop. Fuck all that, you know, being polite or whatever, man. You just got to start fucking people up. That's the only thing people ever understand. And that's the only reason why people stop bothering me when I was a kid, man. People bullied me every week. I've been, I can't tell you all the times I've been jumped and fucked up. Only thing people understood is when I started defending myself, man. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys don't watch the original video, it is, of course, by all time tens. The original link to this video is in the description down below. We tend to chop parts out, so if you want to watch the whole entire video, some of the stuff we chopped out, then make sure to go watch the original on the original uploader's channel, Twizzlers.